Let's take a look at this problem. We got y is greater than or equal to x squared minus 3 and 2x minus y is greater than 2. If you can get y by itself on the left side, you can plug in your calculator. Well, the y is by itself in this one, so that one's fine. For our other one over here, uh, we need to move the 2x to the right side. So we've got negative y is greater than negative 2x plus 2. And uh, then we'll divide uh, everything by negative 1 to get the uh, y by itself. So negative y divided by negative 1. Flip our inequality symbol. Negative 2 divided by negative 1. x plus 2 divided by negative 1. And that gives us y is less than uh, 2x minus 2. Okay, greater than or equal to. That's going to be an upper right-hand triangle. And greater, greater than or equal to, the equal to part means it's going to be a solid line. Now down here, this is a less than, which means it'll be a lower left-hand triangle. And it's just a less than, which means it'll be a dotted line. So let's graph this. We'll press Y equals clear, clear the second one. Mine doesn't clear the, the shading, so let me go over there my flashing cursor on that first slash and I keep pressing enter until they're a regular slash. There we go. This one same way. Okay, now I'm back to normal. Okay, so this one is x squared minus 3. So I got x squared minus 3. Now go clear to the left. My flashing cursor on a slash, and it's going to be upper right hand triangle. So press enter twice. Now down arrow, this one's going to be a lower left, so I'll press enter three times. And this is 2x minus 2. Now the first one's a solid, and the second one's a dotted. So keep that in mind as we graph it. Our answer is where they're both shaded. That one's solid. And that one's dotted. So let's see. Um, that's solid. And that's dotted. And then we shade this. Because again, our answer is where they're both shaded, which is this little sliver right here. So that'd be your answer.